Coach, I know it's been a little while since, since you got the full three points. You managed to kind of maintain that place in the table for the most part during that time. Just how you feeling after this one? I'm, I'm really pleased for the for the players to get you know three points and, and the reward. And I think we must make reference to our last game as well. Um, that's not a reflection of us. And today is a reflection of us. And as long as we can show up, fight, commitment, spirit, and you know create an atmosphere that's exciting for people to watch and chances, uh, and I think we did that tonight. And the players were were excellent, and then rewarded with with the win. Um, I do believe it could have been more, you know, the expected goal of a penalty um, is quite high. And when you get two of them, you're probably going <laughs> to gonna, <laughs> gonna uh, uh, expect to score another goal at least. It's a very well politically phrased way to say that. And we're <laughs> nodding our heads in agreement with you. So with that, I'll pivot for you and, and get to a different subject. You've got a whole lot of just absolute pros and veterans and, and guys that know the deal. Sebastian Guenzotti is one of those. Your thoughts about what he has meant to your club this season and seeing him score that goal tonight? I mean, he's fantastic. What what my decision was to, to play him from the start again, you know, is he gives us that commitment, effort, work rate. And, you know, in, in recent weeks when he's, when he's been playing, he's probably been doing a little bit too much. And, and today we said to him, you know, stay more central and make runs into the box and, and, you know, don't be overly obsessed in helping other people out in possession. Let them figure that out in the wider channels and you make your runs in the box and you know we all know what we get from Seba and I'm really really pleased for him um, the problem is now is we've got a game on Sunday so he's going to have to have an ice bath <laughs> a massage a really good sleep lots of food and drink because you know we'd, we'd like to keep him involved and if not we've got minutes for Jack Blake um, and we've got you know James Moose and, and Elliot Collier that's going to probably come back into the squad so it's nice to get a little bit stronger but I'm really pleased with with you know the clean sheet and uh, and the win. You've you've seen a lot of games in your career as a player as a coach, and I'm sure you've been through moments where there's been a, a, a lopsided loss like there was on Friday, and then a gritty win like there is tonight. Can you take us through the psychology of that? How you navigate that as a player and as a coach? Um, because it's also something that everybody faces in life as well. Yeah, I mean this game's fantastic for us, but the most important game is the next one. And we have to have that approach, you know, you know, every week that you've got to quickly put to bed, you know, whatever you did in the last game and focus on the next one. I, I did, like I said at the start, I want to make reference to that losing 5-0 is not what, what we're all about. We lost earlier in Louisville 5, but we scored 3. Um, you know, and, and I don't like the fact that, and I, and I did say earlier on, it might have been my mistake, you know, changing things too early in, in Charleston at, at half-time because... I thought we had a chance to win it. Um, and maybe if I'd have left it for another 10, 15 minutes, we maybe could have made changes that would have been positive come onto the pitch and, and the result might have been different. Um, but to change the mindset really is, it was all about the result because for 45 minutes in Charleston, for the first seven minutes, we were okay. Um, so it's trying to get them to believe in the fact that, you know, we're going to play another game a few days later and we need to get our mentality back to what we're good at. And we are really good when we become one of the worst teams to play against which is fight hunger desire people running forward passing forward getting balls into the box and and everybody giving a commitment to to the supporters and to the club so you know that's where our mindset needed to be tonight coach congrats on the win we'll let you go enjoy it we'll see you here sunday afternoon thank you